to make an object either bigger or smaller. Now, to think about a dilation, pretend that you're in the hallway looking all the way down towards Mr. Baker's class. Are you with me? What does it look like as you're looking down the hallway? It gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you get to the door. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. The door from this end of the hallway looks very small, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But isn't the door actually in real world pretty tall? Mm -hmm. But the further away it is, the smaller it looks. That is how dilation in math works, just like looking down the hallway. <clears throat> so let's say we're standing here. See why I don't teach art? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. That looks just like you, Coach. Uh, let's put one stick here. There we go. All right, so let's say that we're looking all the way down here at the doorway. <clears throat> the doorway looks small, but our field of view is all going towards the door. Are you with me? And art, they call that the focal point. Mr. Baker may have talked about the focal point mm -hmm. in art, if you're taking art. Well, the focal point actually creates a dilation. Okay, because we could have, let's say, a door down this way. It looks very large, doesn't it? Compared to the door at the end of the hall, it looks very small. But they're actually the same size. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. But due to our perspective and seeing it through the focal point, this door looks way bigger than that door in the real world. But we know that they're the same because one of them's a long distance away. So that's how dilation works. So we're not going to be looking, using doors. We might do a triangle here. And we may do the same triangle way down here. That one looks way smaller than this one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That is how dilations in math work. All right. So let's talk about how to make them bigger or smaller. Um, Let's say I multiply something times two. Is that gonna make it bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger. Sure. What if I multiply something by one half? Smaller. Smaller. What if I multiply something by one? It stays the same. Stays the same size. Are you with me? Yeah. Bigger is gonna be multiplying by any number larger than one. Smaller is gonna be multiplying by any number smaller than one. And if we multiply it by the number one, we did not change its size. It's the exact same size that we started with. All right, so give me a number that will make it smaller. Uh, Joseph, besides one half. Well, why, why are we doing negatives? No negatives. I need a number smaller than one that is not negative. I've already got one right here. One half. Give me another one. That'll work. Give me another number that will make it bigger. Angel. Make it bigger. Can't use two. I already used two. That'll work. Another number, Skylar, that's going to make it smaller. One fifth. Another number that'll make it bigger. Rindberg. Four. Four. Are you with it? So, as we're doing these problems, these numbers that we're multiplying by to make it bigger or smaller are called the scale factors. Scale factors are the numbers that make it either bigger or smaller. Question so far. All right, let's actually do some problems. What about seven eighths? Would that be bigger or smaller? Smaller. Yeah. Bigger, bigger or smaller? smaller. Why bigger? Because it's a really big one. No, it didn't. Seven eighths. 
as well. Yep. Yeah. What about ten fourths? Bigger. Bigger. When the number on top is bigger, that's bigger than one. Are you with me? That's actually 2.5 if you turn it into a decimal. That would make it larger. Okay. All right, so let's take a picture. We'll start off using it. Let's make a little rectangle. So put a point at 1, 1, uh, 2, 1, uh, 1, 2, and 2, 2. We'll start off with a tiny little rectangle. And we are going to make this rectangle larger because we're going to multiply it by a scale factor of 3. Now let's see how we need to do that. It's actually quite easy. Uh, what is this first point? What's this next point? Two, two. Two, two, one. two, one. This point? One, two. One, two. And the last point? Two, two. two, two. two, two. All right, y'all ready? Two. This is really hard. You're going to multiply this number by every number in the ordered pairs. Why do you need a calculator? We're multiplying by three. Put the calculators <laughs> up. You do not live in Johnson City. Are we clear? Type eight. Yeah. Now, if the scale factor was seven fifths, yes, I can understand the calculator. We don't need them yet. What's one times three? Three. What's the other one times three? Three. So this point, which was at one one, is now going to be at three. Okay. Let's do the next point. What's two times three? Six. What's one times three? Three. One times three? Three. Two times three? Six. Two times three? Six. Two times three? Six. These are the four new coordinates that we need to graph to make the larger dilation. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to three, three. Right there. Six, three. There. Three six. Right here. Uh, six six. Right there. There is my new dilation. And we can put A, B, C, D. Are you with me? If we wanted, this would be A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay, now watch. Didn't I say that all dilations <laughs> look like the hallway? Watch this. We dilate, in math, everything around the origin. origin. Watch what happens. Now, my graph is not going to be perfect because my squares aren't, but it's going to be close. If I draw a line going through this point and hitting this corner, it should extend up and go to that corner. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. If I do from the origin and hit this corner and extend it, it should hit that corner. Are you with me? Do you see the dilation happening? Yeah. Kind of like looking down the hallway. Yeah. And I could do the other two points. I think they're all gonna line up together. See how that works? Okay, yeah. if you have dilated it correctly, that's pretty dang good, Mr. Murphy. Everybody give me a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but, and it works even better when you have graph paper because the squares are all the same size. Like this square is not quite as big as that square, so mine might be slightly off. Does that make sense? But I think that worked out pretty good, Miss B. Okay. So that's how a scale factor or a dilation happens. We're dilating everything according to the origin. And if you know one coordinate and you know the scale factor, then you can easily get the new coordinates and graph the new position. Does that make sense? Alright. Now, what if they just give you points? Like uh, A is 25, B is 37, C is 1, 5. Let's say we got a triangle, <coughs> and then they give me A prime is. <clears throat> I 
they might ask you on the homework, find the scale factor. Oh my gosh. Can anybody help me find, oh. Let's try again. <laughs> Much better. Can anybody help me find the scale factor? Layla, what are you thinking? Four. How do you know it's four? Do y'all agree with what this young lady's saying? Yes. Or is she lying to us? She's lying. No, no. She's speaking the truth? Yes. Make an amen. Amen. Good. Do y'all agree with her? Isn't two times four eight? Yes. Isn't five times four twenty? Yes. Would y'all agree with Layla that the scale factor is four? Mm -hmm. I would too. And would I need to check the other points? No. Not if they're asking me for the scale factor. Are you with me? All the scale factors have to be the same. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? So the next point would have to be what? Uh, 12. 12. 28. 28. 20. 8. 21. No. 28. 28. 28. All right, 23. Uh, what would the last point have to be? 4, 20. 4, 20. Are you with me? So there's going to be some problems like that on the homework. Not hard. Let's try another one. Same um, starting points. A prime is going to be Ooh, I don't want to make it that hard. Let's make it a little easier. Yeah. No, that five is messing me up. It's okay. We'll just make it easy. Who can help me find the scale factor for this one? It's no longer four. Come on. How do you know? Because two uh, divided by one half is one. How about two times one half? Or two times. Good. Because if you divide by one half, that's a whole different ballgame. We're not dividing. Everything is getting multiplied by the scale factor. Yeah. Multiplying times two, one half. One half. Now I got a question. <coughs> How could we use the calculator? Let's say you didn't see that. How could we use the calculator to figure out the scale factor? No. Nope. I'll give you a hint. Always take A prime's number, pick up your calculator. Let's do this one. Take 2.5 and divide it by the same number in the original. New divided by old. What's 2.5 divided by 5? And then you can hit math, enter, enter, and it'll give you one half, right? So if you ever want to know the scale factor, write this down in your notes. The new one, new number divided by the old, will instantly tell you the scale factor. Let's do one that's more challenging. Okay. Do the trick I just told you. Once you think, you, and you might want to hit math, enter, enter. I do not want a decimal. I want a fraction, please. Liz, what do you got? Two sevens. You got two sevens? Mm -hmm. Let's see how she got that. Uh, which one did you do? It doesn't matter. Let's do four, which is the new one, divided by the old, 14. Hit math, enter, enter. And you will see how Lizzie got two sevens for the scale factor. Are you with me? All right, good. And would that be getting bigger or smaller? smaller. That's smaller. Two sevens is smaller than one. All right, questions so far? To get start, let's do one more. Now let's say they give me... <coughs>
And then they give me all of the coordinates for the new one. And they ask me, is that one a dilation of this one? How could we figure that out? How could we figure out if it is a dilation or not? Lizzie? Don't know. I don't know if they all have the same answer. Alright, so what's 9 divided by 3? 3. Three. Mm -hmm. What's 3 divided by 1? 3. Can I stop and say, yes, it is a dilation? No. no. You could, but you may be wrong. Let's keep going. What's 12 divided by 4? 3. 15 divided by 5. Three. So far, isn't it the scale factor 3 the whole time? Yeah. Let's keep going. What's 9 divided by 3? Three. What's 20 divided by 6? Not even now. Not 3. Three. No. 3 point something. Are you with me? 3.3 3. 3 repeating. 3 .3 repeating. <laughs> so notice, every one of them works. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. Until I get to the very last stupid one, it did not give me 3. So is that a dilation? No. Nope. So you have to check every point. If they ask you the question, is this going to be a dilation or not? Does that make sense? Yes. Questions? Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all the knowledge I need to give to my students for today. Hmm. All right. You're ready for the homework.